Welcome to Excel Formula Efficiency Series number seven. Hey, this is a series where we learn how to build fast calculating formulas for big spreadsheets. And if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Formula Efficiency Series. Hey, in this video here, we want to see a particular formula for counting unique records, a common one used, and some amazing alternatives that are dramatically faster. Now what we have here is we have a list of sales reps and there's like 3,000 of them. And here's a common formula right here. And I've done uh, videos on this one. Some product, it's checking to see if uh, any of them are blank and then it's counting. This is count if part is, is an array and it actually comes up with 270. Here's a version that's a little bit shorter. You can see this one here has to go through a, a lot of big ranges. This one um, counts uh, blanks are included in the account. So if you uh, have two of them, it'll count it as a one. But if you don't have any blanks, then this would be a little bit faster. This one right here, and in fact, this one is straight from uh, the white paper I keep referring to that's, that's always uh, an, in a, a link at the top of these workbooks if you download them. This is straight from that uh, white paper, and this is a really long formula, but it does the same thing. It counts unique records. If you time these, you can see I got a bunch of times uh, there. But now we want to look at some alternatives. We want to look at some alternatives, and they involved adding a helper column. Now we're going to look at two. If your values are sorted, then there's the fastest possible way. If they're not, we'll, we'll do that and then we'll see what happens if they're sorted. You ready? Let's think of a way to add a column and put something here that will tell us when there's a unique value. Ready? And I've done videos on these exact formulas, but now we're going to time them. Equals count if and the range is this, and you have to shift colon, then double click the B13 and hit the F4 twice. That locks this, but not this, so it's an expanding range as you copy down. Then comma, the criteria will be this. That way we'll get a number one for each time we run into a particular sales rep for the first time. Control enter, double click and send down. If you scroll down, you can see here we have a duplicate, so it gives us a two. Now let's see, what would we have to do to uh, count that? We could come over here to this um, cell right here and do equals count if. And count if what? Well, this whole range is what the uh, range of values we want to count. Control shift down arrow, F4, comma, 1. So it'll count all the times we find a 1. Okay, so it gives us the same value. Now, let's time this. And if you want to uh, see how to make this little timer, go back to uh, trick number two and watch that one. Now, I'm going to highlight this whole column. I'm actually going to uh, control shift down arrow. It highlights it. And then I'm going to scroll up very carefully and watch this. Now, I'm going to hold control and click on this. Uh, back in number two, or the macro we copied from online and pasted here was time range. So it'll actually time this entire range. I click on it. 253. So 0 0.253. 0 0.253. You can already see that's dramatically faster than all of these. But there's a problem with this one. Notice that it, the range is expanding. So when we get down to the 3,000th row, there's 3,000 cells it's looking through. Now, if it's not sorted, then this is the one you want to use. But what if it's sorted and we have our sorted? Let's look at a different formula. Equals if, if this one, one above, one, two, to my left and one above is not, not is less than, greater than, not equal to this. Anytime that happens, it means this is the first time we've run into it. So the logical test will come out true. And if that case, we want 1. Otherwise, we want 0. Amazing. Contr uh, double click and send it down. You can see when we get to a duplicate, there's a 0. Now watch this. Our formula is even easier. Come right here. Alt equals is the keyboard shortcut for auto sum. It guessed wrong. I click on this top cell. Control Shift Down Arrow. I hit F4 just to 
bring the screen back in view, and enter. Now let's do our same trick. I'm going to highlight this whole column, Control Shift Down Arrow, and then I'm going to hold Control and click on this formula right here and time it. Unbelievable! Look at how fast it is. 0 0.0037. 0 0.0037. So you got to be kidding me. How much faster is that than uh, the the very the, see the longest one? That's this one equals, and we'll take uh, this one, the end value divided by where we started, minus 1. Right, so 99% faster. 99% uh, faster. What if we did it for this one right here, equals where we ended up, and compared it to where we began, minus 1. 98, so even, so that is an example of when a helper column using a, a formula like this and then a sum like this can dramatically reduce the amount of time it takes to calculate. All right, we'll see you next trick.